I'm Adrian, and today we're taking an in-depth look at Leon Kennedy's fighting style in the Resident Evil video game series. Leon Scott Kennedy is one of the franchise's biggest heroes and made his debut in the 1998 PlayStation game Resident Evil 2. He went on to appear in several installments in the long-running franchise, including the groundbreaking Resident Evil 4, and was most recently seen in Capcom's excellent remake of Resident Evil 2. If you're a fan of action films and video games, I highly recommend subscribing to my channel and watching my other videos, as I've already analyzed other awesome video game fighters, including Solid Snake from the Metal Gear series and Nathan Drake from the Uncharted series, but today we will be focusing exclusively on Leon Kennedy. The goal of these videos is to figure out just how many fighting styles our combatant is familiar with by analyzing the specific moves featured in their footage and pairing them with the martial art or fighting style which most aptly represents those moves. There's a huge amount of crossover in martial arts techniques, and a technique that is present in one fighting style may also be present in another, such as a roundhouse kick being present in multiple martial arts. But in order to not give combatants multiple fighting styles for the sake of variety, I have instead opted to list the most apt fighting style that best represents that particular character, technique, or set of techniques. Also, there are various degrees of knowing a fighting style, and although one may know elements of something, this doesn't mean I'm saying the fighter I'm talking about is a master in every style I mention. I highly recommend playing the Resident Evil games, as this video will analyze footage from Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles, Resident Evil Revelations 2, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, Resident Evil Gaiden, and the Resident Evil 2 Remake. That being said, I will keep plot details to an absolute minimum, but do take this as your spoiler warning. Fighting styles that Leon Kennedy may know in any other form of media, such as a live action film, Resident Evil Retribution, or the 3D animated films, do not count. Without further ado, let's take a look at how many fighting styles Leon Kennedy knows. Let's start by analyzing the game that truly propelled Leon Kennedy to superstardom not only within Resident Evil, but the gaming universe as well, and that is the phenomenal Resident Evil 4. After successfully staggering a zombie, Leon can perform a variety of melee moves, and perhaps the most often played animation within the game is this one right here. It's a roundhouse kick in which he's kicking through the target, very much like how Batman executes his roundhouse kick in Injustice 2. By kicking through the target, I mean that after he makes an impact, he continues to spin through and doesn't stop at the target. Both variations are seen in Taekwondo, which is a martial art we will be pairing it with, and it will soon become readily clear why. This move right here is a jump spin hook kick, or Idan Dui Hurio Chagi in Taekwondo. You execute the kick by jumping and twisting in the air, and then using your momentum, swing your leg out in a hook-like motion, striking with the bottom of your foot. The next one is a spinning side kick, or Dui Yop Chagi. You spin and then execute the side kick by tucking in your knee and extending it with as much strength as possible. It's a useful kick to not only gain a significant amount of distance between you and your enemy, but the spin adds a layer of unpredictability to it. You could spin into the jump hook kick as we just saw, or spin right into the side kick. It's the reason why spins are so useful in Taekwondo, and you frequently see them in competitions. His next kick is done in self-defense, and so it's modified in certain ways. What he's doing here is executing what is known as a jumping front kick, or Idan Ap Chagi, in Taekwondo. In the regular technique, you kick with the leg you jumped with, but since Leon has already lifted his knee up, as if he were halfway through the technique, he simply lifts his other leg and executes a front kick. His next kick needs no introduction or explanation. You guys already know it by heart. You know its name, know its meaning. It's the undisputable, the astounding, the sensational. <laughs> If you'd like an in-depth explanation on the push kick, or Meteo Chagi, and why it's used so often in all forms of media, I invite you to check out my Captain America fighting skills video. Moving on, his next kick is a pretty spectacular jumping roundhouse kick, or Idan Dolio Chagi. Following the exact same principle we just saw from the jumping front kick, he instead unleashes a roundhouse kick after the jump, as opposed to a front kick. The move can be split up into a jump, then a kick, like Leon does, or it's sometimes seen happening at the same time, or as soon as you're jumping, the kick is flying out. In Leon's case, he furthermore opts to throw his entire upper torso into the kick. This can lead to more power, but as a result, he does lose his footing and ends up on the floor. As such, due to the sheer amount, complexity, and variety of kicking techniques, they all have been grouped with Taekwondo, a martial art which places a great emphasis on such techniques. Leon executes a reverse elbow, but this can also be grouped with Taekwondo as well. This throwing technique is a modified Seonage, or shoulder throw. Typically, you use the arm to be able to throw your opponent over the shoulder. But in Leon's case, he opts to wrap his hands around his enemy's head instead using that as a grip point before he rolls him over the shoulder. Normally your opponent will fall to the ground, but this being a video game, Krauser is launched into the air, 
similar to Snake launching Cyborg Ninja through the air. The shoulder throw is seen in Judo and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, also known as Jiu Jitsu, but in Leon's case, we will be grouping it with Jiu Jitsu. US Navy SEALs include Jiu Jitsu in their martial arts training, and even Marines include Jiu Jitsu elements into their Marine Corps martial arts program. Therefore, considering that Leon has a background in the US government, it makes sense that he would be trained in Jiu Jitsu. Leon's next move is this spectacular suplex. He wraps his arms around his opponent and flips him over backwards. It's seen in pro wrestling and judo, but in Leon's case, we will be grouping it with pro wrestling, not only due to its sheer theatricality, but how well it will connect with moves further on in this analysis. Before moving on from Resident Evil 4, I need to mention the epic fight he has with Krauser. It's probably the most entertaining quick time event in video game history, and I can't think of a single gamer who doesn't remember it. Leon expertly dodges, parries, and counters Krauser's attacks. Knife training does make an appearance in a couple martial arts, but the one which most often forms the background of military training is Kali. It's a weapon-based martial art that treats all weapons as an extension of yourself, leading to a vast array of deadly and efficient techniques, especially with the knife. With this training, it's no wonder he has no qualms about scaling this giant enemy to slash at him with his knife. Leon's next appearance as one of the protagonists in the mainline series was Resident Evil 6. He returns as an even more experienced martial artist with a wealth of new moves to subdue his enemies. He begins this combo with a side kick, follows it up with a roundhouse kick where he kicks at the target, and then executes a spinning hook kick. Next up we see a return of one of his Resident Evil 4 techniques, the spinning side kick. However, this time he's able to add a variation to it in which he executes the same technique but from the floor. This is usually a strength training exercise within Taekwondo but can be used as an attack as he does here. His reverse elbow also makes a return and this time he also adds in a horizontal elbow both of which are seen in Taekwondo. It should be said that although elbows are perhaps the stars of arts like Muay Thai, Leon doesn't exhibit any other telltale signs of training in this art, such as in his stance or other Muay Thai techniques, like the question mark kick. As such, his elbow work will continue to be paired with Taekwondo. Remember his modified shoulder throw from Resident Evil 4? Well, it once again makes an appearance here, but is seen with a much more formal execution, with a certain flair for the theatrical. Before actually executing the technique, Leon passes the enemy's arm over him in order to bring him in to finally do a proper Ippon Seo Nage. In this technique, you trap the bicep in between the elbow, forearm, and shoulder. You then lower your body and throw him over you, just like Leon does. This move is readily seen in Jiu Jitsu. You can see the principles of the technique in this instance as well. The point is redirecting your enemy's force instead of trying to match it. As such, as soon as this creature leaps at Leon, he simply grabs it and redirects his momentum, effectively using the creature's own strength against him, a central tenet of Jiu Jitsu. Resident Evil 6 introduces brand new styles to Leon's fighting repertoire, and those are Krav Maga and Sistema. Krav Maga is an Israeli CQC system commonly taught to law enforcement and also utilized by US Navy SEALs, while Sistema is a Russian CQC system that is routinely included in government agent training. Krav Maga has an emphasis in military combat, and Leon readily displays his characteristics. One of them is using a firearm as a melee weapon in and of itself, just like Leon does. Furthermore, quick and simple disarms form a huge part of Krav Maga, and Leon is no stranger to disarming and then using said disarmed weapon against his foes. Whether it's a wooden plank, a bat, or even an axe, Leon can easily disarm it and use it to strike back against his attacker. Just to clarify, Krav Maga's disarms are usually very simple and to the point, and while some Sistema disarms are pretty simple too, they are typically much more complex, requiring multiple joint locks and steps. Leon thus has a bigger tendency to rely on Krav Maga disarms. However, the reason why I'm giving Sistema as a fighting style to Leon, besides his government training background, relates directly to how he fires his weapon. Firearm training is a big part of Sistema, and it directly connects to how Leon handles his pistols. Note his expertise in keeping tabs on the enemies around him, a very important aspect to Sistema. Furthermore, there's a certain flow to the way he moves that is not seen in the more rigid style of Krav Maga. Sistema also includes knife training, and this would undoubtedly complement Leon's Kali skills with said weapon. I'd also like to point out that while Leon's occasionally flashy shooting may look somewhat similar to Center Axe's relock, dual wielding pistols like Leon is not part of said system. Most importantly, Leon doesn't display that tilted grip to the gun. He does in Resident Evil Vendetta, but that animated film does not count in this analysis as mentioned earlier. He therefore will not receive Center Axe's relock as a fighting style. However, if you'd like to learn more about Sistema and Center Axe's relock, you could check out my Sam Fisher fighting styles video. His next move is a simple shoulder tackle, also known as a shoulder block in pro wrestling. The fun part about this particular attack is that it's a callback to his very first technique from Resident Evil 2 in 1998. 
and his one defense against being bitten by a zombie is to first to try to push him away and then execute a shoulder block. Continuing with his pro wrestling fighting style, this spectacular throwing technique right here is known as a bulldog or bulldogging headlock in pro wrestling. A bulldog is any move in which the wrestler grabs an opponent's head and jumps forward so that the wrestler lands and drives the opponent's face into the ground. This move harkens back to his pro wrestling suplex from Resident Evil 4 extremely well. But his predisposition for the theatrical doesn't end there, as Leon is known to stomp on his opponents to finish him off, a technique also seen in pro wrestling. And not only that, he never shies away from using the environment to slam them around, whether it be by tripping an opponent by pulling his legs or just smacking them against a the wall both of which echo pro wrestling's theatricality. Up next, we got the ground and pound, in which as the term implies, you wail on your opponent with various strikes once he's on the ground. It was developed by wrestling-based UFC pioneers like Mark Coleman, who coined the term, and Dom Fry. Curiously enough, they both had a career in pro wrestling as well. The technique thus has roots with pioneers who have a pro wrestling background, fitting well with Leon's fighting styles so far. Probably the coolest moment in Resident Evil 6 was seeing Leon Kennedy and Chris Redfield in the same frame. They had similar but different goals and thus engaged in a quick and efficient fight. The cutscene works perfectly with Leon's fighting repertoire so far. It begins with a quick redirect and disarm of Chris's firearm, displaying Leon's background in Krav Maga. Leon then attacks with a spinning hook kick, his taekwondo background immediately coming into play, and follows up with two taekwondo strikes, the reverse elbow and spinning hammer fist. After reverse elbow is blocked and countered and Leon is thrown, he executes a shoulder roll as soon as he hits the ground. The shoulder roll, or ukemi, is a technique that makes an appearance in arts like Judo, Aikido, and most importantly to Leon, Jiu Jitsu. In Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles, we see Leon in certain scenarios from the Resident Evil timeline, and it's a great opportunity to see his skills in action. First up is this jump roundhouse kick. It's the same kick we saw him execute earlier with Krauser, but the key difference this time is that he doesn't fall since he didn't throw his entire torso and other leg with the technique. He instead just followed through it, spinning right back into place. His next technique is what has quickly become Leon's favorite kick, the spinning side kick. Before we get to analyzing Leon in the remake of Resident Evil 2, it's worth mentioning that Leon Kennedy did appear in a couple non-canon spin-offs, so let's take a look at them. Leon makes a pretty sizable cameo in Operation Raccoon City, and is a playable character in the heroes mode of said game, with a couple techniques that fall in line with what we've seen so far. He's still a fan of using the knife for quick melee attacks, uses a roundhouse kick and push kick, both from Taekwondo, a stomp and a shoulder block from Pro Wrestling, along with an extremely theatrical uppercut and hook, just like you'd see in Pro Wrestling. If you'd like to see a much more in-depth explanation behind this Pro Wrestling style of uppercuts and hooks, you can check out my Injustice 2 Batman Fighting Styles video. Leon also makes an appearance as a playable character in the excellent raid mode from Resident Evil Revelations 2. His melee is essentially unchanged from the moves we've already broken down in Resident Evil 6. He still uses a reverse elbow to get out of a jam, still uses a sidekick, and opts to use a knife as well. Leon can also acquire and use a katana if certain objectives are completed, but since every other character in raid mode can also equip and use said katana as well, this means the ability to use the sword is absorbed from this special item. It's not due to the individual skill or training with it. Leon will thus not receive any sword fighting style in his final tally. Having made a brief detour through some spin-off games, let's move on to Resident Evil 2, specifically the awesome remake that released in 2019. What's pretty cool here is that the developers kept his skills historically consistent with what he would have known at this point in time in the series. Leon was just a rookie cop. He probably had some basic training, but nothing as complex or advanced as he would show in Resident Evil 4 onward. As a matter of fact, most of it is based off of shoves and pushes. He will try to do either of them to get the zombie out of his way and keep moving. If they're attacking him from below, he'll try to shake his leg off of them. This makes complete sense, as you wouldn't expect him to start roundhouse kicking zombies or suplexing them way back when this was taking place. He instead resorts to just using common sense pushes and shoves. In the non-canon Game Boy Color game, Resident Evil Gaiden, Leon's melee move right before he gets into a zombie shootout is also a small shove. Returning to Resident Evil 2, he does have some experience with the knife as he can stab his enemies, but he can't use it as a proper melee weapon yet, as he does in later games in the timeline, and only uses it for self-defense. It is highly unlikely he had any Kali training at this point, so this makes sense too. His actual striking techniques are limited to two specific moves, both of which are from what would become his most often used martial art of Taekwondo. He does use his elbow to strike back at a zombie in self-defense, and he can furthermore execute a sidekick from the floor. Now that we've taken an in-depth look at his hand-to-hand 
hand-to-hand -hand skills, we can address his extensive expertise with firearms as well. Besides using them as melee weapons as previously pointed out, as well as being very skilled with pistols, he's also well versed in using assault rifles, shotguns, rocket launchers, flamethrowers, and grenades among other weapons. While I routinely attribute this to combat shooting, Leon would have received more than enough firearms training with his background as a government agent, along with his experience in Krav Maga and Sistema. In conclusion, how many fighting styles does Leon Kennedy know in the Resident Evil series? They are Taekwondo, Jiu Jitsu, Pro Wrestling, Kali, Krav Maga, and Sistema, for a grand total of six fighting styles. I'd like to thank each one of my Patreon members as their contribution helped in the making of this video. If you'd like to contribute and appear in the credits in the future, my Patreon page is Godzilla Rex and it's in the description below. What do you think of the Resident Evil games? What other characters should I analyze next? Let me know in the comments below, subscribe for more awesome videos, and see you next time.